good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy to be here today to do for you four recipes with Paupi um, croissant and uh, mini cannelé from Bordeaux, okay? And if you have so many questions, I'm to be here, okay? And um, I want my um, recipe to be very simple, but I want to be interesting when you will taste with your butter and uh, the different feeling I put inside is very important. And I am... Um, I worked it so hard before, but I never forget my passion to, to make the pastry every day. Every day for me, when I make the pastry, the poisson, or every, every dessert, I have the same passion. But at the same time, I like to eat too much the pastry. <laughs> you see, I sit, I eat so many pastries, but, okay, I'm too busy. It's important when you work in the pastry, the cheese. You have the chef, but you have the assistant, and you have everybody inside the team. And every people can uh, do the job very well, but at the same time, okay, when you work, you work with the passion. Now, my first recipe is, uh, when I decide to create this recipe, I have one idea, okay? Because it's the winter time now, and um, the chestnuts is very popular in France, and I decide to mix the chestnuts and the uh, red velvet sponge together, and you will see it's uh, not difficult. The first time you bake the croissant, I'll be uh, croissant to, to the pat. You bake very well, you see, and when you bake, you want a nice color, nice. Okay? Okay, I cut a little bit the croissant for put inside. Inside is a red velvet sponge, but on the middle I put a red bean uh, paste. Okay? And after that, I uh, mix together the red bean paste with uh, melted butter, slowly, slowly, for do the cream. But I didn't add the sugar, I didn't add anything. I put the uh, red bean paste and the uh, melted butter together, okay? The pastry is not, is not difficult, and the pastry, you follow the recipe, but when, uh, when you start the, the pastry, for me, uh, I, I teach so many people in the world and in my company because I manage for 20 years my school. I spend the people. When you practice the first and second time, you do slowly. No need to speak. Slowly, slowly. No need to rush. You know, the pastry is not difficult, but it's important to understand. Uh, After that, I, um, I use the same uh, red velvet um, uh, sponge, but I put on a small uh, piece and I bake again. Because why I want the um, crispy and crunchy, I don't want the sponge. I have a sponge in, in the, inside the croissant, it's to be soft with the red bean. But on the top, when I want it, I want a little bit crunch. Because it's important the balance. If, if you eat the cake, it's too really sponge or too soft, it's not interesting. It's important you have the crunch, you have the sponge, and you have the um, aromatic and the taste and together. Decoration is very important. Normally, I can recognize. Okay, these people make this cake. These people make this cake because you have your signature. You can help you with that because if you, you know, if you do that, sometimes it's difficult to keep the. But me, I do that. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's finished now. You will test after. If uh, thank you so much. Uh, the decoration is. Um, no, everybody do the same decoration, but it's important. The decoration is what you like and what you love, you know, it's, it's that. My second recipe was uh, the idea to, uh, to understand, okay, because in France it's very popular to eat the almond uh, cream, but sometimes the almond cream is a little bit soft, and my thinking, I want to use uh, the um, almond paste, the massipan, okay? And I want to mix with the dry fruit and the same time with the nuts. Okay, for this recipe, I use uh, the massipan, 
is of uh, almond paste, huh? you see, is uh, almond paste. But inside, I will put the cranberry, I will put the resin. No worry, I put so many. If you want to put uh, less, you can put less. But for me, I want the good, uh, the good balance, okay? And I put the orange and apricot. Now I mix very well for put inside the fruit. And when this is ready, I will wait 20 grams to this, okay? And before baking, I put the almond inside, I press a little bit and I close. And after that, I can bake. This is ready, you see? And it's not difficult and you wait. For me, I put 20 grams inside. If you want to put more, you can put more. If you want to put less, you can put less, okay? This you can prepare before, huh? you prepare before. It's very interesting because you have the almond uh, and you have the dry fruit and you have the nuts. It's very interesting, okay? The croissant is a little bit different, okay? But I use the same base, a little bit more soft, for put on the top to make the decoration. When this is ready, you see, I, I do that. And I will uh, start the decoration on the top. When you start the decoration on the top, you put the snow before you before you put the fruit and you press on the top and you see and the color is very, very interesting but I want more green color and why I will finish with the pistach. Don't forget when you make the dessert, it's important you, you use two, two color, minimum two color, green and red. Because if you put the green color on the top to the decoration, the people can see very well you cake. And red color is the same. If you mix green and red in the display, it's very attractive for the people. Okay? You see, uh, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Uh, the creation, you imagine, okay, what the people uh, want to eat and what the people like. At the same time, when you, when you make the dessert, you thinking, okay, I don't want only one texture. I want many textures inside my uh, my recipe. Uh, when I decide to create uh, this recipe, I use uh, this ring, okay? I want to do the pyramid, I want to do the pyramid. But if you want, for example, I'm French. Huh? You want to make the Eiffel Tower, you make the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> but I do the pyramid, okay? And for that, I use the same croissant, the AOP croissant, but I cut on the, on the middle. And now, you see, you can bake. You can bake. The croissant is very interesting, okay? But inside, I want to put the filling. I want the filling. Is why I decide to um, make the hazelnut cream for put inside the filling, okay? I, um, I prepare the hazelnut uh, cream. You use the hazelnut uh, paste, okay? And you mix with uh, one other, uh, I cannot explain the blend, but you have so many hazelnut uh, paste, okay? And after that, you know, I use, um, for, and after that, you inject the cream slowly, yeah. You weigh the quantity you want inside, okay? You want to be sure you put the, the cream inside, okay? And after that, hop, you put here. I love the hazelnut uh, flavor, okay? You see uh, what I, when I do? You have two ways, huh? you have two ways. You, you press here and you turn. You press and you turn, and you press and you turn for put the filling, okay? For the decoration on the top, I use the same cream, but I put a little bit white chocolate to block. Okay, the decoration là, is more difficult to see. What I do, I will adjust the, the texture to the cream before I will start. Because if the cream is hard and soft, I cannot make very well. And now, I press to see. Okay, my texture is okay, it's not too bad. 
and you start the design. You can do a different design, you can use a different way, but I will uh, put a little bit in the fridge before I will put the almond. Huh? Then I will put a little bit in the fridge. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because if I put the almond now, if I put the almond now, the almond will uh, drop to the decoration. And it's why it's better you organize, you put one or two minutes. To be like now. I put I put the almond, I can do the put the almond on the top. One, two, three pieces. If you want to put the walnuts, if you want to use uh, the nuts, you can uh, you can put uh, every nuts. But before the nuts you bake a little bit in the oven. Huh? You don't use uh, fresh nuts, you bake a little bit the oven, the nuts, the, the nuts to caramelize. Uh, the percentage is maybe 20% white chocolate for stabilize the pralinet. It's 20% to the uh, white chocolate, and after that, it's 80% to the pralinet, and you can stabilize. You, met, you melted the chocolate in the or in the marie, and after that, when the uh, chocolate is little bit liquid, maybe uh, 30 degrees, you can add the uh, nuts, and you put in the plastic, and uh, after you can use for decoration. Alors, I will, uh, I will make one cannoli and after the people can come here and can do with me because it's very important when you put uh, rosemary and, uh, and uh, orange skin, you put immediately. You can do three cannoli and immediately you put the orange and the rosemary because if you don't put immediately the rosemary will go and the orange will go, okay? The temperature to the chocolate, uh, white chocolate, is more uh, less to the dark chocolate or white chocolate, is normally uh, 30 degrees. If you want to add to your recipe, you can put a little bit of oil inside, just a little bit, maybe uh, one spoon for, uh, for 500 grams, one spoon to oil, and it can help you to to make the nice uh, presentation. I use my cannoli, I put inside, and I do that, you see? And I move, and arrive here, and up, I deposit here. Okay? But now, it's difficult to use the glove, but no worry. Because the glove is not my friend for make the decoration. You, you put the rosemary one by one, you see, up. And now you put the skin to the orange. You see what I do? I, up, one. Is your decoration, is your style, you see? Three, four. Allez, maybe one more, okay? Okay, you see on this. It's not the same design, different design. Okay, and you can change the color to the, to the chocolate, okay? And now, Provence style, and this is a raisin style, the Bordeaux style, because where Bordeaux is a wine place, okay? Thank you so much, thank you, everybody. Thank you.